Steve McCurry is an American photographer, freelancer, and photojournalist from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He has photographed in over six continents and countless countries. His work focuses on retaining the human element and exploring evocative color as he captures many subjects, including conflicts, vanishing cultures, ancient traditions, and contemporary culture. Steve McCurry's career was launched in 1979 when he disguised himself in native garb and crossed the Pakistan border into rebel-controlled Afghanistan. He left with rolls of film sewn into his clothes that would later be published around the world as among the first to show the conflict there. This coverage later won him the Robert Kappa Gold Medal for Best Photographic Reporting from Abroad. It was in Afghanistan in 1984 that McCurry shot his most famous photograph, Afghan Girl, which debuted in June 1985 on the cover of National Geographic. The combination of the girl's sea green eyes and piercing stare command the attention of the viewer. Her eyes convey a haunted feeling, and in them you can read the tragedy of a land drained by war. McCurry chose a bullseye and head-on composition for the image that effectively draws the viewer in to a gaze they cannot turn away from. The complementary colors and intense saturation work to contrast the girl's war-torn garb to her powerful green eyes and the blurred green background. It is both aesthetically and ethically evaluative. The image went on to be named the most recognizable photograph in the history of the National Geographic magazine. Another famous photo from McCurry titled Camels was taken in Kuwait in 1991 during the Gulf War. The ethically evaluative image captures the desperation of three camels as they wander around an exploded oil field looking for untainted food, water, or a way out of danger. In this shot, a feeling of panic is evoked in the viewer as they see the camels perilously close to the danger. The dark billowing smoke contrasts the blazing fire and barren foreground in a way that shows how destructive war can be on not only people, but also on local wildlife and the environment. A technique that works well in this photo is the rule of odds. The image appears in a few of McCurry's books and is currently part of an exhibition in France. Though McCurry captures many scenes of conflict and war, he also captures images that are aesthetically pleasing and document the beauty of cultures around the world. An example of such a photo is Blue City, which was taken in India in 2010. The image appears in his book, Steve McCurry, The Iconic Photographs. A couple looks out from a balcony at the complimentary blue buildings against the orange lights around the city. The symmetry and pattern of the photo are very pleasing to the eye, and though there are many lines throughout, the vanishing point leads the viewer's eyes to the top right corner. The diffused lighting helps the color pop and hints that it's around dusk in the city. The rule of thirds is also followed as the couple are located where the grid lines would intersect. Captured from above, the city has a more abstract feeling compared to if it were taken head-on. Another ethically evaluative image from McCurry is titled Dust Storm that was taken in Rajasthan, India in 1983 and appears in his book Steve McCurry, India. The image features a group of women huddling together for protection during a sudden dust storm. It feels like you're there with the women when you look at the photo and you can almost feel the movement of wind around you. Their red headscarves pop in the diffuse lighting and against the dust around them. This image shows the negative effects of monsoon season on the women who have no choice but to work in the field even during harsh conditions. Steve McCurry has proved himself as one of the most famous contemporary photographers of all time. He has published over a dozen books and his work has been featured in every major magazine in the world. McCurry is a recipient of numerous awards including Magazine Photographer of the Year by the National Press Photographers Association and four first prize awards from the World Press Photo Contest. His process is different than that of many photographers because he often wanders and takes pictures along the way, focusing more on the journey than the destination. His photos effortlessly capture the essence of human struggle and joy and offer an honest depiction of the world.